This is the box method. Okay, put the first term in box A and the last term in box D. Multiply the first and last term. The product should be factored and these numbers should equal 19. The reason, just for people who are unclear, like we get a shut up there. It should equal 19 is because it's negative 19, okay? Okay, we're just factoring here. So, put each of these terms in box C and box B. It doesn't matter which term goes in which box. It's all going to work out to be the same. Okay, now we need to find a common multiple of box D and box C. And the common multiple here, I believe, would be 2, negative 2. And now we need to find a common multiple for box B and box A. And the common multiple is going to be... 3k. Okay, now we need to find a common multiple for box C and A. Now we need to find a common multiple for box D and B. Alright, now we need to multiply them out. You know, write them no, out. Well, no, you just write it. So is going to solve the problem through now. Draw the rainbow all the way across the sky. Because <laughs> it's like a double, and now it's a triple rainbow. Like a double. I guess the other ones are kind of on the ground. It's kind of a sketchy rainbow. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a weird rainbow. Are we gonna take the voice out? Nope. No. They're gonna hear it all of us. Shoot. Hello, friends. <laughs> Circle indicates that that's the answer. <laughs> and look, it matches. Quick note here, guys. Um, you know you need a negative five instead of a positive five here because negative five times positive three k equals negative fifteen k. And here we need a positive two k versus a negative two k because 2k times 3k equals 6k squared. We need a negative 5 here times a negative 2 because they cancel out to be positive 10. And you need a 2k here and a negative 2k and a negative 2 here because that equals negative 4k. That's how you know when you need negatives.